Welcome to MTB Radley. Before you buy, finish line, disc brake cleaner. You need to watch this video to the end. For mountain biking tips, reviews, and trail rides, subscribe to my channel, tap the bell to get notified when I post a new video. Mountain bikes are rad. You should get one. As an outdoor professional, I've helped thousands of people recreate outdoors. Now it's time for me to help you. First and foremost, the best way to take care of your bicycle, the drivetrain, and your braking system is to wash it and clean it after every ride. If you're like me, you don't really want to spend a lot of time cleaning your bike after every ride because sometimes you just don't have it. It's so much easier to put it away with dust and dirt on it. Unfortunately, this dust and dirt can accelerate the wear on your drivetrain and your disc brakes. If you're interested in watching a video on how I clean my mountain bike, right click on the eye right up there. Open it in a new tab and watch that video after you finish this one. Whether you have cable disc brakes or hydraulic disc brakes, you need to keep them clean. Clean disc brakes mean increased stopping power, a quieter braking experience, and increased longevity of your brakes and rotors. Before I jump into cleaning my brakes, I should tell you that I used isopropyl alcohol to clean my brakes several times over the summer. So I'm not walking into this review with super dirty or grimy brake pads and rotors. In fact, I try to take care of my stuff so it lasts longer. Interested in learning how to remove your disc brakes and rotors? Click the eye in the upper right hand corner to watch my video on removing disc brakes and rotors. Okay, here's the bottle. Finish line bicycle disc brake lube. Love it that it's acetone free. That's gonna be good for the paint and other components on there. Um, says it safely cleans pads and rotors. 10 ounce bottle, flip it around. There's some information on the back. Um, what it does, it removes dirt and oil residue off rotors and pads, cleans rotors and pads for better braking power, cleans braking surfaces to help prevent brake squeal, displaces water from braking components. How it works, fast and easy, quick drying, no residue. Cleans without adversely affecting sensitive parts near the rotors uh, without acetone. So it's safe around paint and plastic. Directions for best preventative maintenance. Note the phrase preventative maintenance. Use regularly and especially after all wet weather rides. Rotors, spray both sides, allow to dry. Pads, remove the wheel, spray the pads from grained soils, remove the pads from calipers, soak in solution, Buff with abrasive materials necessary, like sandpaper. And I would probably just uh, hose it down one more time. So, a couple quick notes. Extremely flammable. Aerosol pressurized container. May burst if heated. May be fatal if swallowed. So don't drink it. Okay, while we're waiting for me to get set up there, let's head over to the Finish Line website and... See what they have to say about their disc brake cleaner. Okay, here we are on Finish Line's uh, webpage for their bicycle disc brake cleaner. And I just want to read some of the stuff they have here. Uh, Finish Line's bicycle disc brake cleaner is engineered to rapidly clean disc brake rotors and pads to optimize disc brake performance using an acetone-free formula. Bicycle disc brake cleaner decontaminates braking surfaces by flushing out dirt and oil residue and melting away baked on a brake glaze. Let's check in on Bradley and see if he's ready to go. Looks like that's a no. Let's head back to the Finish Line website and let him finish setting up. Additionally, they go on to say that the, the disc brake cleaner is designed to leave zero residue after, after application. Finish Line's bicycle disc brake cleaner displaces any moisture buildup on the pad or rotor, resulting in improved and predictable braking and reduced brake squeal. With the unique characteristic of being acetone free, Finish Line's bicycle disc brake cleaner is strong enough to clean the dirtiest rotors, yet safe enough to use around paint, carbon fiber, and plastic parts. With both wheels removed, we can start cleaning our brakes. In a previous video, we went over the gear all new mountain bikers should have. Click the eye to access that video and look in the description below to download that free checklist. Okay, hey, here's uh, the rear brake pads. And I just inspected mine not too long ago, so I'm not going to remove them. And um, based on the directions I have read, I should just be able to hose those brake pads off right there. So we'll come in under here and do that right there. Give it a good hose down. Now we come in here from the top, give it a nice hose down. That didn't work out so well, did it? 
Okay, let's try that again. So while using the disc brake cleaner, I realized just how fast the stuff evaporates. Check it out. Okay, up here in the front brakes, let's, uh, let's give it a bit of a squirt. Okay, coming in from the back. Still the front brake. Okay, now we want to give the old rotor a bit of a bath with this stuff. Flip it around. I like the long nozzle on it. Allows me to hit more of a concentrated area with it. Okay, let's hit the rear disc brake now. Flip it around, get the other side. Okay. We'll let that dry now. This bottle of disc brake cleaner is a quick and easy way to clean your rotors and pads after each ride. Just spray it on and let it evaporate. Don't get lazy though. If your bike is dirty enough, you're going to need to give it a bath. Anybody that's had their mountain bike for a while will tell you that dirty parts wear out faster than clean parts. And mountain bike parts can be expensive to replace. So take care of your bike and your parts. And you and your bike will have a great relationship for many years. Using finish line and disc brake cleaner just might help you develop and maintain that relationship with your bike. While I haven't used it for very long, it seems to be working pretty good for me. If you're watching this video, you might want to check out some of my other product review videos. Click the eye right up there, check some of those videos out. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, I would love it if you bought me a coffee. Look in the description below for a link to buy me a coffee. To improve your mountain biking, click the eye right up there. If you're new to mountain biking, you need to get your hands on my checklist that covers the gear you need for your trail ride. Look for the link to that checklist in the description below. If you learned something, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Tap the bell to get notifications of my next video. Until next week, I'll see you on the trail.